Is the Philippines ideal for MGTOW? I would say I'd have to push MGTOW to one side right now. Um, the first thing I want to say is the majority of expats are of an older generation, um, the 50-somethings, upwards. You know, you've got somewhere between 50 and 80. Um, a lot of these guys are chasing young women, uneducated women, etc. And in all honesty, a lot of that I can't be bothered with. Um, I can't be bothered with uneducated women for a start. I can't. That group um, is not the same social group as myself. Although I have no issue with them, it's the sense that it's n not for me. Um, are those guys MGTOW? I would say it's more a case of they are looking for companionship or whatever. I would also say I do find some of it a little bit strange sometimes, um, especially when they get into financial relationships, to say, well, I'll give you this money if you stay with me, but I can't call that a relationship. Not in the way, it's, not in the way they're doing it anyway. But they could be mixed out from their own making if they're more interested in staying single. But I do think a lot of this is companionship. Younger guys, I do think there's a lot of people in MGTOW that would benefit from trips to the Philippines because it opens their eyes to the wider world. First thing is Philippines, people, the majority of people speak English, which allows instant connections with people. Because if you have to learn Spanish or something, although that is very, very useful, if your reasons for being MGTOW are because of a displacement society and stuff, you may be better off starting with somewhere that understands you and you can understand what they're saying and you can get a whole new perspective on life, a new environment, um, friendly people, etc, etc. So I do think the Philippines is useful for that. Also, it's quite a good hub for other countries. There's cheap flights out of the Philippines to many countries thanks to the OFWs, overseas Filipino workers. Um, so you can travel around Asia quite easily and the cost of living in the Philippines, although it's not as cheap as it used to be, I do think it's still relatively cheap. I would say it's on par with my cost of living in Spain, um, but my standard of living is higher in Spain. Um, now, if you're true MGTOW, it could also be worth a trip to the Philippines as well, because if you're true MGTOW in the sense that it's not just a case of pushing out Western women. You Maybe you just want to be single and left alone to enjoy life. The Philippines is great for that. Because if, for example, you decided to do farming or whatever on your piece of land, nobody cares. You know, you do what you want. You know, this is the thing. You're not going to suddenly have people coming around saying, oh, you can't do that. There's a code for this or that. Unless it's in a subdivision. Um, but generally people let you do what you like. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people do construction even. They add extra bits to their houses and stuff, and it's not even registered. But here in Spain, it's exactly the same. Um, but the advantage for a MGTOW is you're in an environment that socially you will find a lot of people engage with you on a daily basis. So even if you're not interested in a relationship, um, you will find that it's very easy to meet people. The expat community is full of people with similar um, backgrounds in, this, in similar age groups, so it's much easier to engage with a lot of different people, um, especially if you're, I'd say, predominantly American. Um, from the Brit side, it's probably, a, well, Brits, the numbers are a lot lower, let's put it that way. Um, but it's, there is social groups out there within the expat communities, but I, Myself, I don't really engage with them too much. I used to when I first went into the Philippines, but um, the reason they started doing the YouTube channel, and well, prior to the YouTube channel, even the blog, was a lot of the information was out of date. You had people selling their books or whatever to fund their lives in the Philippines, and as such, they may have written their book a decade ago, but they haven't updated it. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like live like a king and you, then you get people trying to justify a bit the live like a king line. well that's not what I really meant it was but that was 10 years ago the the, um, the cost of living has changed etc there was a lot of reasons that it changed but the thing is from MGTOW viewpoint the Philippines has a relative low cost of living at the same time a lot of flexibility 
the further you go away from the main cities, the bigger a piece of land is for, you know, you get more for your money. But also you find that a lot of the costs reduce as well. For example, you know, I found in Negros, you were getting at least 30% more uh, for your, your peso. You know, your, your rice portions were bigger and things like that, you know, when you eat at a restaurant. Now, you think, yeah, but you don't always eat. Well, a lot of time if you eat in the calendarias, etc., they'll give you a bag of rice, cooked rice. Well, the thing is, that portion, because it's bigger, is two meals instead of one. That's what I'm talking about. You take that home, and that does you for two meals. Um, and that's one of the things you would recognize is a fundamental change in diet. And some people have actually cured themselves of type 2 diabetes because their diet has changed. The microwave meals aren't there things like that, there's been a, a lot of extra fruit put in their diet, many, many things. Um, so I do think that the Philippines offers a lot to a lot of people. Um, only thing I do recommend is going with an open mind, because if you go there expecting X, Y, Z, there's a good chance it ain't going to happen. The way you go out there is just go out there with an open mind and just experience it for a while. If it doesn't fit, doesn't matter. Um, one of the things I will say, if you've got a house in the UK or whatever, don't sell it, rent it out. Um, you, you, you could pretty much live on what people are paying the rent. You could live on the Philippines. Some people already are doing that. So from my point of view, MGTOW, ideal for the Philippines. Those that are looking for confidence, that sort of stuff, ideal, go to the Philippines. Those that are looking for relationships and sick and tired of the problems wherever they come from uh, which are sort of half me town half out philippines is also ideal and as somebody brought up about the uneducated women of a low social class etc i personally don't recommend getting involved with any of them um, that's my personal viewpoint i i cannot have somebody that has no conversation ability it's beyond me. It doesn't matter how physically attractive they are. It does not matter to me one one thing, um, because it'd be tiresome after about three days. You know, with me and my wife, for example, we spend most of our time together. We're you know we're at home like now. I'm doing this video. My wife's cooking lunch, and we'll sit and talk about different things throughout the day. Imagine we've been doing that for a, a decade. Imagine doing that with somebody that has only an interest in their mobile phone and their friends back in their, their local area and can't really connect with you and not really interested and in boasting about their new big apartment and all that sort of stuff. I couldn't do it with that. It'd do my head in. Um, and that's why I know people brought up Rike and um, somebody else. I understand it. I, I just don't understand why they do it. You know, at the end of the day, I couldn't get into that. Um, but as I said, I do understand it. You know, at the end of the day, that for me, that is purely sexual, nothing else. It, it can't be much else. Um, I do wonder if it's more a case of they like the younger women. At the same time, there's plenty of educated women out there. And I know some people actually say, well, um, educated women wouldn't go for um, foreign guys. They wouldn't go for all foreign guys, let's be honest here, but they would go for some. And it also depends on who you're talking with, etc., and what your connection is with them. Um, but I do know some, some of my friends are married to some fairly wealthy Filipinos, uh, Filipinas, that are widows, they, they've got cash, they just want a bit of companionship. And some of them have been to the West and have some of the Western ideals, which also means that they find it difficult with the local guys because they have a different view on the world. It's been changed by so many years overseas. So the concept that that is unavailable is actually incorrect. Accessing those women will be much harder because they're not messing around at the, the local uh, fiesta because a lot of time they're not that into that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, the social groups and social classes are there, but a lot of expats don't get in those same social circles, but it doesn't mean they're impossible to reach. It just means you've got to look for them. But anyway, 
please like, please comment, please share, and love to hear everyone else's input on it. Thanks for watching.